In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Nightmare Station. First thing you need to know is how you win and how you lose the game. The way you win the game is by getting through both of these decks, having all of these trains travel through the station without actually losing. The ways you can lose the game, there's two of them. First is if you ever have to spend money from the bank here and you are unable to do so, you lose. You've gone bankrupt. The second way involves these black cubes here. If you ever have to add a black cube to this cup and there's not one to add, you lose. Essentially, these black cubes represent really bad reputation locally. People are upset and have, have, have left the station and getting bad reputation. Okay. So speaking of these cubes, there are three colors, and I'm going to see if I can actually grab all three here. Okay. These are the desire cubes. They represent your the traveler's desires. The green cubes represent the thirst of travelers coming to the station. The yellow cubes represent hunger. And the blue cubes represent comfort. So during the add needs phase, which is the first phase of a turn, you draw one of these cubes per traveler in this area up here. And you could have any number of travelers up there. So just as an example, we'll do so. So this, this traveler desires more comfort and this traveler desires more food, like so. Right. The next thing you do is you draw new travelers. You always draw two travelers. Let me place them up here. And just to make sure I cover how the cards work, the top of the card says what where they're actually going. And that has to match a train later for them to actually travel there. And then the area here westbound or eastbound, depending on which one you're looking at, says which deck going to be drawing from to, have to satisfy their need of travelers. Okay, and as I already established, the spaces here are where you place the cubes to show how, they, how much desire they have. If you have to place a cube and there's no space, for example, let's just say, let's grab a couple extra. Um, we'll just do that and so if we had this situation and I had drew a yellow cube for this card, that would mean there's not a space to put it, so you would immediately place a black cube into the cup and then discard everything from that and they would leave. Um, right, that's how the black cubes get added. Okay. So after we've done, so draw a traveler. So the next thing is player actions. And there are a number of actions. Basically, they're all covered in this area, um, and I'll just follow follow order. So the first one is uh, emptying the trash or sweeping the area. The general cleanup action that makes the area more comfortable for the travelers. So you so and the net effect is you remove one blue cube from one traveler and put it back in the cup. The next action is restocking the vending machines. So this area over here is where vending machines are, and they can get unlocked over the course of the game. Um, at the beginning of the game, you do not have them, but you can basically return cubes in this area to the cup for one dollar each, up to four cubes total. Okay, the next thing here is the unlocking facilities action, and it's just you take one of these discs and place it over one of the circles, and that unlocks whatever ability is associated with it. So food cart unlocks these actions here, which I haven't gotten to yet. The PA system unlocks everything down here, which I haven't gotten to yet. Uh, this makes use, you must already have a PA system, but unlocks music, which makes the benches more effective, which again, I haven't gotten to yet, but I'll get to them now. The benches uh, make another place for you to place cubes during the add 
in space. So, for example, if we had this bench and I drew this blue cube, the comfort need, instead of putting it on them, I could just actually satisfy saying that he has this desire for more comfort. I could instead put it here saying that he had a desire for comfort and he used it by sitting on the bench. The vending machines work very similarly, except with either food or with, sorry, with hunger or thirst, depending on yellow cubes or green cubes. Um, and again, you can then empty them out later. And then the last thing over here is the, the uh, Oshia, which is, I'm sure I butchered the pronunciation of that, but essentially that you hired someone to squeeze people onto the train and make it make more people fit. Okay, so let's continue down this. So the food cart. The food cart actions, there's three of them. You could sell people food, you could sell people a drink, or you could sell people a meal. Um, when you sell someone food, you move up to two yellow cubes from their cart, and you gain two dollars for doing so, or two money for doing so. Um, same thing for how thirst works. If for, for selling a drink, you remove up to thirst cubes, the green cubes, for two monies. The last one is a full meal. And in order to sell, to sell someone a full meal, you have to remove at least one yellow cube and at least one green cube. You could remove up to two of each, and you get three money for that. But that's all the food cart stuff. The PA system, um, as I mentioned earlier, allows you to also unlock music, which makes unlocks these spots on the benches. But it also allows you these two abilities here, which allow you to manipulate the train coming in. The first one allows you to swap any t the position of two cards, so like so. But, what you can't, but it's only two cards that are adjacent to each other. You couldn't swap the position of these two cards. It would that would take two actions, effectively. You'd have to do that and then that. Okay. And then this bottom action here allows you to extend this line of trains by drawing one more card. And it basically just gives you more information for what's coming on future turns. Okay. Uh, real quickly, I should cover... Well, I'll do that in a second. Because that is all of the actions. The next thing we do is, after that, is train arrival. And for train arrival, you choose either of the top two trains here, the one on the eastbound or the westbound, whichever one's furthest up. And you can choose whichever one you want, and it's going to arrive. Ideally, you want to choose one where you have a passenger that wants to get on that train. So in this case, we have Matsumoto. And we have Matsumoto, so I'm going. I would say I would have this train come up. Now, trains have a couple pieces of information. One, they have the name of where they're trying to go. They have eastbound, which basically says what deck they're coming from and helps you figure out which passengers can go on there. They also have a number of slots that, so that's how many passengers you actually travelers you actually can put on that train. Um, so in this case, you could put up to, two travel to, up to two travelers from what you have here could go onto this train. And then they have how much money you'll make for each passenger, each traveler that gets on the train. Um, just a quick caveat, uh, I'm, I need to update the board to match this because currently the board is in dollars and the cards are in yen. But essentially, this is three, three money versus so add two zeros to all the stuff, all the monetary values here, and it's, and it's right. Okay. So, anyways. Uh, oh, yeah, I would have done that probably. Sure, and I'm backtracking slightly to, to the actions I did. So the two actions, to similar, the two actions I would have done is I would have bought the food cart, which cost 10, and then I would have sold him a meal, which made me two monies. Okay, okay. so the train arrival, um, I can get this guy to board. Okay, this card gets discarded.
but money goes up by three. One, two, three. Okay, and that's the train arrival and the board traveler steps. Next part is housekeeping. Housekeeping is a few things. One, you discard whatever cards are here. Make sure all of the decks are ref uh, tracks refreshed. Return any blue cubes from the benches area to the cup and then spend upkeep. The upkeep is whatever the, the highest numbered revealed in this track is and it always go this way. So right now it's one, spend one, and then it goes back to beginning with adding needs. Um, so yeah, that is basically how you play Nightmare Station.